Well, he led Washington State University through some tough economic times, all while University President Elson Floyd turned WSU into a powerhouse school. Well, Floyd lost his battle with colon cancer over the weekend at just 59 years old. KXY4, John Hendricks working for you. And John, Floyd is going to have a lasting impact not only in Pullman, but right here in Spokane. Yeah, that's right, Nadine. There is some talk in Olympia about naming the new medical school in, in Spokane after Floyd. Those I spoke with today say this was his project. This new school is something that he wanted to see happen. It was a somber scene in Pullman this morning as President Elson Floyd made his final trip through the WSU campus. The outpouring that we've heard from folks has just been absolutely remarkable. Even though he's gone, he'll have a lasting impact across the state of Washington. The guy cared about students, he cared about the communities, and he thought beyond higher education. In his time at WSU, the health sciences programs were consolidated at the Spokane campus. Floyd was also instrumental in gaining legislative support for the med school here in Spokane. The work that he has done over the last couple of years, especially in announcing and then building support for it, has been truly remarkable. Spokane Representative Tim Ormsby says naming the med school after President Floyd is the right thing to do. He had a lot of responsibilities. He had a good team working for him, and this was his baby. This was the thing that he did uh, in conjunction and partnership uh, with Chancellor Lisa Brown. Ormsby says both the State House and Senate are working on bills to name the school after Floyd. He says it's a real testament to how hard he worked to make it a reality. Everybody is coming together in a bipartisan way uh, to support this because whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, a member of the House or the Senate, everyone knew uh, the work that he was doing. What's now here in Spokane is a legacy, a way to remember a man who cared not only for his friends and family, but his community as well. It's really too bad that the president won't be around to see the grand opening of that and, and to see students of Washington State University learning together in a health sciences campus. Now, President Floyd was also instrumental in getting funding for a new medical clinic here on the Spokane campus where students can gain that valuable um, learning for their medical careers. That clinic is scheduled to open next year. Reporting live tonight, John Hendricks, KXLY 4 News.